this is late night last night. Did you stay up and watch Stanford and USC? Well, I stayed up and watched the Holy War. That's a, no, I, I had to, so Stanford on one TV and I had a BYU Utah on the other one. Stanford forty two, USC twenty eight. This is a abject Clay Helton disaster because when Stanford goes to Texas the week before and gets absolutely destroyed by Kansas State, yeah, Kansas. That got where? You said you said when Stanford goes to Texas. Well, no, they they played in Arlington last week. It was in Arlington, oh, Texas. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, okay. Yeah, I was confused. like, uh, they played Kansas State. No, they, yeah, they played Kansas State in Arlington, Texas. It was okay. a neutral site My game. Bad. Neutral site game. And and they got destroyed last week. And Stanford comes out and starts a freshman quarterback. Look, post-game win expect there was nothing fluky about this. Stanford no, 99%. They beat the hell out of them. They destroyed. Destroyed USC in this game. Like, didn't even give them an opportunity. I, I don't know even what to make of this. What 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 can we do with Clay Helton at this point? Well, nothing. So I have been saying all offseason that the hate on Clay Helton has gone too far. He's not that bad of a coach. Is he the second coming to Pete Carroll? No. But is he as bad as everybody's making him out to be? Absolutely not. I was wrong. Uh, he's, he's, he's absolutely as bad as everybody's making it out to be, and he's got to go. Do I get an apology? From no, Friday you don't show. get an apology. And people <laughs> telling me on Twitter, I need to apologize to you. Come on. You make your own decisions. If I talk you out of something, no, no, the, that's because I'm no. a hell of a salesman and you don't know any better. You didn't, you didn't talk me out of Stanford the other day on the show. I was okay. talking about David Shaw. and, and or No, I didn't oh, talk David about Shaw David Shaw. Oh, David Shaw is still not a very good coach. I still don't think he's a very good coach. But David Shaw is still not a very good coach. But, he, no. but is, he, is he better than Clay Helton? Maybe, but that's still. Okay, so you're better than one guy in the Pac-12. <laughs> Hey, you still, uh, you still got to get over two more to be in the top 10 true. of the Pac-12. True. Tanner McKee, 16 out of 23 passing, 234 yards, two touchdowns. Can uh, you take any stats away from this game and think they matter? This was a shit show from the second this game started. I think that you can take away the fact that Stanford's new quarterback actually looks pretty good. I'm not worried about Stanford's quarterback. I'm worried about USC's offense. What the hell happened there, man? Uh, I don't think Slovis is, is very good. Like this was what I was worried about with the San Jose State game, where USC was up thirteen to seven in the fourth quarter and they couldn't move the ball on San Jose uh, at San Jose State for a long, long time. Sure. I I think I think people have figured out this Graham Harrell offense. I mean, it's it's in year three now. Yeah. At, once you're into year three, you've given people plenty of tape. Keaton Slovis was a three star quarterback coming out of high school, like. I, I know. I know this. It is. It is clear and evident. All right. Now, both of them. Listen, UCLA has beat up on two bad football teams. Okay, but UCLA has taken over. Yeah, there Los may be a Angeles. power shift here. Yeah, there may be. A they power take shift. it. Chip Chip Kelly has just ripped this thing away from them. Yes. Yes. They are indeed substantially better. No, I I tend to agree with you. Not not there's 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 a margin there that's pretty wide right now. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.